Hey, viewers. This is Tim Terry coming at you with some uh, Dead Space 3. I got Dan Reichert and Brian Vor with me. Um, I reviewed the game. Uh, really liked it. Uh, they both just started tonight or last night for the first time playing some co-op. And Dan and I were like texting a bunch. She had some questions about the crafting system. We talked about it. Talked about it a little bit this morning. We thought maybe we would just kind of see what else you had in mind. Well, it might help to it because, yeah, me and Brian were a little more overwhelmed maybe by it than you were. It yeah. seemed like you uh, you just jumped right into it, whereas me and Brian spent a lot of time just staring at this thing like, mm -hmm. wait, so what do we do here? Is this, how, how does this tip? Why is that There's a lot of here? options in there. Yeah, so maybe, maybe this video could help folks that are just starting off and maybe are on the same page as you guys. Maybe just, you know, get a little bit better bearing with it. But um, as you can see, I went to the solo campaign. There's this weapons crafting arena that will take your inventory from the single player campaign or co-op, whatever. Your your inventory is the same across all difficulties, co-op, single player. Um, and as long as you know you're in between chapters or something and don't want to hang on to your story process, you can zap right into this arena with your current inventory and start tinkering. Um, I think it's it's good that it has that and that it has a, a place where you can go mess around because it really doesn't explain it well at all. Like when you go into the like we're loving the game, we're having mm -hmm. a lot of fun. But, man, we went into that thing, and it's like, okay, so this thing's where you add upgrades. This is the thing where you want to build items. This is the thing where you make things from blueprints. But it doesn't really say, like, okay, so this tip does this thing if you do this, and mm -hmm. then you can, like, it's it's kind of overwhelming here. Yeah, they do. In the tutorial, it just kind of runs you down through each one of these. Yeah, uh, without but, diving deep into them. And yeah. so this is where, this, this wrench here is where you go to actually build a weapon or modify one um, that already exists or build one from the ground up. Um, Dan had, had screwed off blueprints a little bit. You pick up blueprints throughout the game, and also there's a, some like developer guns. And if you look at these, like um, a lot of these get pretty resource intensive. Like these are very these are oh, custom pre-made weapons that the the developers made. That's a lot of tungsten, by the it way. It is, and and yeah. it's it's really you can make all these guns from the ground up. Um, but what it will do if you pay for this blueprint, you'll get the gun, and you'll have the blueprint, and you can disassemble the gun and like get components from it and stuff. Um, but this, especially for your first playthrough, all these are not your best bang for your buck as far as building something. Well, and I think I made a huge mistake here is because I didn't really understand the concept of blueprints, that it was things that you could just build yourself. I thought it right. was like, oh, this is where I buy guns. And so I saw, or attachments and stuff too. And there's a shotgun in there and I paid my resources to buy this shotgun. Yeah. And I was like, okay, cool. I'll have a shotgun attachment so I can put that underneath my uh, innervator, you know, thing yeah. or whatever. And I bought it, and it's like, well, wait, how do I put it on anything? And then I, I dismantled it, and I, I just didn't have, it didn't give me my resources back or anything, and I just, it made me not want to experiment with stuff, right. I felt like I just lost stuff, and I didn't, it didn't work the so way yeah, I wanted to, it to. To keep in mind, basically what you're doing here is you're trading your resources for the weapon parts. And so then you're getting each it. individual, uh, like you're getting the yes. stock, and the, the parts, and the, the yeah. tips, and all that stuff. But it like, costs it out to you as a pre-made weapon. Looks right. like if you've already got the parts, it'll just take those. Mm-hmm and make it yeah so for example oh. i can go ahead and construct this and since i have all these pieces it's just going to throw them together for me um instead and the of, cost said zero because you already had all the pieces because yep, okay. i had those pieces oh. if i didn't have them it would adjust the cost to make those specific items okay and, mm. and you know that is something that you kind of you, you figure out i didn't do a lot, a lot with blueprints but um it's there if you want it um this is a shortcut to the oh. to the, the weapon upgrades here. <laughs> Look at um, plus three. Oh my god! Uh, yeah, we, we gotta get one of those. <laughs> you unlock those after your first playthrough. So I have some end game stuff here. So that's good to keep in mind. Um, so there's no power nodes in Dead Space Three. It's all about upgrade circuits uh, and you know constructing a weapon from the ground up. But some of these go into the into a certain gun. This is all one gun here. It's not yep. your universal upgrade yeah. circuit. Yeah, and you unlock more um, of these slots sometimes depending on the frame. You'll, you'll have different uh, ones. But I'll go into this in a second because there's there's more base stuff to get into. And this is where you can craft basic crap. Um, these are important. We were talking about these a little bit. These are good for opening like secret mm. doors. Like there was those doors in Dead Space 1 and 2 where you'd need to like, sacrifice a power node to get a bunch of goodies. This, as tungsten, is the most valuable resource in the game. This has sort of replaced those. Um, so it's good to hang, hang on to like one of those. Um, and then, of course, is where you keep all your crap. But, uh, which you can sell from there too, which we didn't realize until. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sell. something you should do a lot. So like, yeah, every, get rid of all that. Like, you could get rid of all those like, tiny ones. Yeah, you could do. A, yeah, you get gel for that stuff. Yeah, and th these are made to. You know, you hang onto these, and these will be used to construct other things or make more health packs in the future if you want to. You can disassemble these into scrap metal, and scrap metal is used to upgrade like your suit 
and other things. Scrap metal is pretty universal. Two hundred, um, it seems like a pretty good price for yeah for ammo. And then the stasis that turns into transducer stuff, which is good for upgrading your stasis, so you can kind of liquid mm, liquidate oh. it that way. Oh, it um, all filters back. One thing I gotta say. The universal ammo is so oh, it's cool. It's the best. Yeah. Because I'd always wind up with just like a million line gun ammo taking up my whole rig. Yeah. And it's like, oh man, I don't use it that much. Yep. Like, uh, just yeah. like having to manage all that crap. Just it, like universal ammo, just pick it up and you don't have to share in co op. Like everyone can just be as selfish as they want and yeah. you, everyone gets stuff. Ugh. Actually, before you dive into this, Tim, I, I just noticed uh, you're obviously pretty late game or, or mm -hmm. post game or whatever here. Do you only get two weapon slots? Because we were wondering, like, oh, I wonder when we get to buy our up and down. No, nope, it's two slots. weapon slots. But then, if you Ooh. have it, if you build a weapon so that it has two weapon attachments to it, you can you essentially have four. Yeah, yeah. they all yeah. have the bottom thing. Yep. Yeah, unless for this example, Hammond's Heavy Frame, it the upper tool had. Um, this is a good look. Like the upper tool had four upgrade slots, and it came loaded with a better damage. So I sacrificed the lower tool to have like a really good rocket launcher. Well, so how Ooh. do you know that? Like, where does it tell you that you can't have a lower tool on this one? It will the NA, probably the yeah, NA. It's, it's that one right there. Okay. Uh, you got to You got <laughs> really confused here. I don't understand. I just, it, doesn't the words. Actually, it doesn't show you anything. <laughs> so I'm going to show you something. I made this one from the ground up. It says Hammond's rocket launcher. I'm going to create a blueprint. Okay, I've already done that. But so that means that I can totally disassemble this. Everything. Like, look at the upgrade circuits. And talking about experimentation, you know, disassembling a weapon that you really like, you could be nervous, like, oh, I may not make it right the next time. So I can go up here and then say, remove and dismantle. It's going to take all those components away. I go into here and find, where was that uh, custom blueprint? There it is. Um, so you just have, oh, it says in that that text down there, yeah. in, the, in the middle right section, it says what it is. Yeah. Okay. And I can just construct it. So you just have it again. And you now. didn't use any resources in that whole time. Uh, no, no. It's a... Uh, I don't lose anything from disassembling it and putting it back together, and I didn't have to spend anything. So, but you, you basically, if you have a gun you like, you should probably make a blueprint before yeah. you dismantle it just yep. to make sure. That's smart. Okay, okay. That's, that's the way to do it. So you can always immediately put it right back together. Mm -hmm. if, okay, and that's good. Another thing I wanted to show you is I'll uh, I'll dismantle it again just so I have more pieces to play with. Um, Dan was talking about sometimes you'd put a pol like a plasma core on this, and it would be a plasma cutter, and sometimes it'd be a force gun. It's really, there's two main types of frames. There's the heavy frame, there's the compact frame. If you have a compact frame in the game and you put military engine on it, you're gonna get like a little Uzi thing. Um, if you put a plasma core on it, you're gonna get a plasma cutter. If mm. you, um, and I backed out again. If you hit B twice, you're gonna see him do this animation. I didn't have to back out there again. But uh, for that, taking that example, um, if I take the, the frame and replace it with a, with a heavy frame, and let's say I take the military engine, it's gonna be like this big, assault slower rifle. assault rifle. Mm. So the military engine is basically like a machine gun, but it's either gonna be like a tiny little SMG yeah. or like a total M16. Yes, type thing. yeah, okay. exactly. And then, you know, I have like a, this is the same tool, that you, there's the same element for the plasma cutter, but you put it on a bigger frame and you get a force gun, which is the really like shockwave concussion thing from, from the Dead Space but series. that mm. same plasma core put on a compact frame is going to make it a cutter? Yep. Okay, so let's go to the tip here. So you can see these upper tool tips here. Yeah, these are cool. So, this so one, that this basically just takes the same force burst stuff or whatever and just mm -hmm. sends it in a different cone or something. Yeah, like, it, it changes okay. it changes the properties of, of you know the projectile. For example, if you take the um, like the shotgun, depending on the tip, you may have like a, a, a rifle type weapon or you'll you'll turn it into a shotgun. If you take like a javelin gun and and change the tip, you'll get like a uh, kind of shotgun burst spike gun. Um, mm. Which I'll show you. I made a pretty cool shotgun, but uh, yeah. And then also, this is important: is if you don't have a bunch of tips, you can go in here and start making them. At the at any in any of these categories, there's a craft new option at the top, so you can use your resources. Like, oh man, I don't have any attachments, and you go up Ooh. here, and then you can like, oh well, I want stasis coding. So every time I shoot the guy, um, he starts to slow down a little bit, or. Or another really good one that for, sounds awesome. for yeah, like a <laughs> for a rocket launcher. You know, you can get a safety guard. Ben Reeves always helped me play co-op. He kept on killing himself. You can put something <laughs> that prevents splash damage here. Um, and then also speaking of co-op, for you, you and Brian, Dan, when you guys are playing, you know, every time you heal yourself, Brian will heal himself. Every oh, time you charge mm, stasis, he will. Wow. So these are things that make that a lot more uh, helpful this, for for co-op. This is an attachment. Attachment's one. Okay. And yeah. Attachment two is kind of like under barrel, like uh, mm -hmm. magazine size and but, things like that. But right? also damage support, so you both do more damage or e. uh, increase clip size. Um, and then there's flame glaze and stuff. 
a- acid stuff, electricity. There's some cool stuff. The entire time, me and Brian are just like looking at each other, like, "Oh, we got to do this tonight. We got to like get some of this crap." And the thing is, you know, <laughs> some people might not like the idea of sitting down for like 20 minutes and just like disassembling everything and putting a bunch of time into it. But the more time you put into your weapon, for example, I played half the game with like an okay line gun, took apart everything, focused all my resources into a plasma cutter, got some re- upgrade circuits, and I was one shotting everything for the rest of the game. Well, yeah, and we uh, we started to kind of get it last night. We're around chapter five. And, like, I, I got this thing I really liked where my top is I've got that, like, Tesla innervator mm-hmm. thing, the, like, you know, chargey laser gun yeah. thing. But you kind of have to charge it so it's not good if somebody's charging at you. Yeah. So on the bottom, I put a force gun. So basically, I just hit, like, RB, and I, boom, I blow everyone back, and then while they're on the ground, I can charge it and shoot them. Yeah. All with the same gun, which is just awesome. Okay. So, yeah, I kind of see just experimenting with stuff and finding what works for you and how you approach these combat scenarios. Definitely. Um, so, for example, we were talking about the shotgun, and I kind of want to just hop into that and show you some of the cool stuff that you can get if you start tinkering around. Like, let's say we take off the uh, the tip of this, and it will turn into a semi-automatic rifle. Okay. So that kind of sh- this will show you all the changes from the, from the tip here. Um, and but I want to stick with the shotgun and show you what happens if we. Um, gosh, what was this one? There's already there's so many things I haven't even played around with yet because there's so many options. But. Um, Quick dispersal, and then let's put on flame glaze. Wait, hang on so a second. So flamey shotgun. So is, yeah. it, is it the conic dispersal that's making it like a shotgun yep. now? Because the military engine by itself would just make it like an assault rifle, Yep, right? exactly. So okay. it's, it's important wow. to modify it with the tip. And there's So th- tips are really huge. Yeah. Thing. And then uh, this doesn't have a lower weapon, so let's put on a telemetry spike. But let's change that so that it... You can either make like a, a rapid... Uh, mm, impaling, <laughs> rapid impaling javelin. A uh, shotgun that shoots rivets out. Yeah, let's Holy do that one. Let's crap. have like a double shotgun thing. <laughs> oh, uh, can you pull yeah. both at the same time? Both triggers? Um, I haven't tried it. I don't think so. But, okay. Um, and then I think I have a better frame. You probably yeah, you have see? a... Oh, so, so you get you get like these named... They're kind of like epic weapons in like a Diablo or something. They're named and they usually comes with uh, more more upgrades in them. Um, and then I can throw in some... Do they, have, do they pump up the base stats too? Like damage, reload, clip, speed, and all that stuff? Um, the upgrade circuits do. Do the and frames. And some, some the frames, frames do. Okay. Like some if you frames. have elite frames, does it bump those stats up? Yeah, certain ones will. Okay. Um, okay, and then let's get the damage oh, up a little look how bit. how many different thingies he's got. Yeah, this is <laughs> insane. You end up with a lot of them, and you end up with a lot of extra, um, you know, resources towards the end of the game, so... If you've got wimpy things you can sell those too right like if you just by the end of the game you have reload plus one and like you're never gonna go back to that can you I haven't, I haven't, change that in you know i'm not sure i haven't tried to sell a lot of my circuits because i like to have like all of my weapons completely beefed up um i can look i don't know if they let you sell your circuits um yeah you totally can all right so what kind of sh- cup stuff do you get for see. it yeah Okay. Oh, oh. So you could get you could get a bunch of tungsten and stuff. That's that's very cool. Yeah. Um, but like I said, I had enough resources by the end of the game that that wasn't really an issue. Um, another cool thing about the weapon crafting arena I want to show you here is uh, you know let's say uh, I don't know if I liked that. You just get a bunch of enemies pumped in here. Oh. And, uh, I like this. What was that? This it, is my this is my flame shotgun. Oh my god! I like how they just disappear. <laughs> and, and, and guys, they're not wasting actual ammo. No, here, no. Right? You always just reload to a full clip, and these guys don't hurt you. So there's so, no penalty. Oh, here. this guy's at least tackling me though. Uh, no, there's no penalty at all. It doesn't. You can't even access your like regular inventory because you're invincible and uh, have full ammo. So you can just so, really play around in here. Okay, um, I like that. Does it give you just stuff. every tool? Um, no, it's only what you have in your inventory. Okay, design. so what you can so, make at that time. So you can go in here to optimize based off what you have in your inventory. And, you know, this is a good thing to tinker around with. Like, you and Brian, for example, if you guys don't start playing oh. at the same time, you know, you can both come in here, optimize your stuff so you don't waste each other's time when you hop into co-op and just and have it done. Okay. Um, that appeals to me. Yeah. <laughs> Do a quick demonstration for me here, Tim. You were telling me that you really like just going in and creating weapons from scratch. Mm-hmm. Um, so what I kept trying to make last night, and I kept screwing up uh, because I'm stupid, is I wanted to have a char- chargey, lasery thing on top and a shotgun on bottom. And for some reason, I don't know if I just... I, I don't know why, I, I couldn't get that to work. I don't know if that's a possibility. I had to kind of in, uh, improvise by putting that force gun on the bottom. Okay. Uh, but so yeah, laser- I want to be able to, like, close range, blow someone back with a shotgun, and then do a charge lasery shot oh, okay. at the top. Oh, uh, these guys still want to play it. Right. I guess you got to turn them off. <laughs> uh, I think I just have to clean them all out here. Um, but no bother, because I have an amazing shotgun. 
So that's crazy shotgun. Were you doing rivet stuff in there too, mixed up? Yeah, there's uh, this is the that's like the the spike shotgun blast. Try um, both at the same time. I, I doubt you can quite do it. accurate. Try. It's probably just doing one, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's just doing one. one. Okay. Uh, that would be cool to overload. Oh but, yeah. Okay, so let's try to make what Dan was talking about quick. Um, He's taking requests, folks. <laughs> okay. Uh, What's the call-in number? Yeah, call in anytime, and we'll uh, take a relationship. Yeah, just yes. Yeah. Okay, so what were you looking for? Uh, I want to have a chargey, lasery thing on top, and a shotgun on the bottom. Chargey, lasery thing, like like uh, it, like I've got that innervator thing, which I love. I just hold in the button to charge it, and I let go, and it. Oh poof, man! But it doesn't like. I don't know if I made one of those. Is it? Uh, was it a heavy frame that you used? That's the thing. I don't know. Okay. I, don't know I think it was uh, the code that came with. It it's the, like the that Tesla innervator. Mm, innervator. Oh, yeah. it, so maybe it was a Tesla core. Oh yeah, yeah um, Tesla core. Oh, yeah. it's certainly a late. Uh, yeah, that's thing. it. Yeah, with the crankety deal. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. That charges. is it. Okay, so you got that. That's my lasery thing. And then what was the lower thing? I want a shotgun on the okay, bottom. Okay, so I think that's a military, 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 military tip. With and a then you change the tip. That's the problem. Dispos disp yep. Dispersal unit. Yeah. Okay, okay, so now go out. I want to see this. My my dream weapon well, let's, here. Let's get some modifiers. Okay. Like let's do uh, uh, acid bath. Sounds acid good. Acid bath for <laughs> that's is that we want. So um, we'll have an acid shotgun, or is that everything? Uh, this is for I think that's for everything. Acid oh. everything. Oh. Yeah. So I'm gonna have acid lasers. I th it might it might be. Uh, pretty it dangerous. sounds alright. You should uh, get this get this going on your yeah, on our game yeah, because yeah. I want to see you um, do this. Let me throw in some of these. Oh boy, so we're gonna want rate of fire up and clip up. Um, yeah, let's do this just for the heck of it. This is gonna be a pretty cool weapon. Yeah, that sounds. I didn't do a lot of the chargey lasery stuff as you put it. Um, I'm mostly a plasma cutter and rock launcher guy. There's okay. one you'll get the um, it's like a the charge the survey unit. Uh, core thing and you can make a grenade launcher out of it and you get a special tip and you make it into a rocket launcher I highly recommend a grenade launcher or okay. rocket launcher and also that splash damage modifier yeah oh. yep okay and acid oh he's okay. acidy yep that is acid lasers oh boy that just oh he just went shotgun. up in the air so okay. you can that shotgun, shotgun them when they get close yeah. and then you can charge up a lasery shot Yep, that's exactly and what they I want to do. And they stay acidy. Oh god, that's great. Yep, and the shotgun yep. is is good for multiple enemies too. So yeah, that's that's exactly the weapon I want right there. Oh, that looks fun. Uh, and let's finish it off with. There we go. Yeah, that actually be a pretty solid weapon. Get him! That's with the shotgun now. Oh, he's melted to nothing. There. Oh yeah, boy. there's nothing even left to stomp on. There we go. <laughs> well, that's no fun. <laughs> well, does yeah. that help a little bit for you guys? A little actually, clear? a lot. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, a lot. yeah. Like being able to actually see it and see you, you know, piece things together. That okay. that helps a lot. Cause we were talking on the phone and texting, and it's yeah, like, I I can't really show you what's confusing me, and you can't really mm -hmm. explain mm -hmm. to me like this is this is great. Well, cool. Hopefully that helps you all the out. The tip the tip thing was key, I think. Yeah, like, excellent. That, how integral it is to changing what kind of weapon yep. you'll have. And and last but not least, uh, so if you liked the things you did in here, save and quit, and it'll transfer into your co-op uh, or single player um, stuff, or you know you could just exit out and hit Xbox Home here and just undo everything you did okay. if you didn't like oh, the, uh, yeah. the stuff you tinkered around with. So that's okay. pretty much it. So uh, yeah, everyone watching that has Dead Space 3, get to it and start tinkering and enjoy.